How did Carlos Yulo get in tip-top shape to take on two Olympic gold medals for the country? He had a supportive team, which included sports occupational therapist Lynn Hazel Callowood, who helped him be at his best physically, mentally, and emotionally. My name is Lynn Hazel Callowood. Officially, I'm the sports occupational therapist of Mr. Yulo. I was an athlete most of my life, and so I love sports na talaga since I was a kid. I started with being a varsity for swimming in high school, and then I also got invited to be part of Aero Gymnastics sa Philippine national team, but that was born out of my desire to be one of the best female freestylers ng generation ko because I was uh, I got hooked into dancing when I was in college sa UP Manila I'm really passionate with sports and it fulfills my soul and so I found a way by studying manual therapy, studying mental health services, and studying all sorts of things about the brain. And then as an occupational therapist, I combined all of it. And then this is the result now. So because I'm an occupational therapist, I don't only delve again on the strength and conditioning part. I also look at yung other dimensions ng buhay ng tao by giving him tips on, okay, what muscle to activate during this period of time so that you can get perfect landing or things like that. Pag may masakit sa katawan ng tao, hindi pinipilit kasi mas lalong masisira yung katawan niya. More than the international recognition, Callawood believes that Yulo's historic Olympic wins have opened opportunities and awareness of the Philippine sports industry. This historic win has meanings. One, is that science is a superpower. And then number two, through what we achieved this Olympics, there will be more interest in the development of the Philippine sports industry. I'm expecting and projecting na madaming mabibigay na medals yung next generation of athletes kasi malakas talaga ang spirit ng mga Pinoy. With what I was able to do as a sports occupational therapist with my work with Mr. Yulo, there will also be more attention that will be given to the emotional, psychological, and mental aspects of athletes 